injury-stricken Spain. Mm. We know that they lose arguably the best player in the tournament, Alexia Putellas, before this tournament, on the eve of the tournament. They'd already lost Jenny Hermoso the month before. What does You're it do to you? Two top scorers. Then? You're two finishers. And we've always said with Spain, they're so good box to box and they can control the game and they play such a nice style and we've seen it we've seen it uh, with Barcelona we've seen it with all their different players but now losing the, those two top scores what does that do to them and I, and I think it's a huge blow I think it's something I heard Emma Hayes say yesterday you know maybe it's a good thing that it happened right before the tournament because you don't have time to dwell on it but you also don't have time to really absorb it and say oh <laughs> how do we fix this Right. All of a sudden you're without your biggest star, the Ballon d'Or. So um, I think it's a huge blow for them and, it, and it's a young team still. So how they react to that uh, is going to be critical. I think it's great that they have Finland for that first game, obviously. You're looking forward to seeing Spain uh, yeah. with all this going on? I, I, I am curious, really. And so often we compare this Spanish side to the Barcelona club team. But you know who's on the Barcelona club team? Caroline Graham Hansen yeah. and Lika Martins. And so it is a little bit of a different team. You don't have that same creativity out wide, and then you lose these two key players. Interesting to see how this is going to shake out. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.